The mission of the Healing Hearts Bank is to build a community of women helping women in need, and they do this by a series of low interest microloans. And most of these go to things that are helpful to the women in the workplace. I also might add that a good number of these women are domestic violence survivors. And what makes this project unique is not only are women able to secure funds, but in so doing, in doing this project, they are able to learn a lot of banking skills and they're able to develop leadership skills, they are able to learn about the lending process, and they're also able to make uh, a lot of decisions. These are women who have struggled day to day and have succeeded to become successful in the workplace and can feel proud of themselves as friends, mothers, and sisters to one another. Uh, Justine Peterson offers uh, access to capital for the underserved. Uh, Justine Peterson's impact on the community, I believe, is, very, is, is enormous. We've seen uh, 50,000 individuals in the last 18 years, and again, each of our customers, our clients, come to us uh, because they want to make themselves better financially. I think Justine Peterson uh, and its clients are making a difference uh, in the St. Louis economy by offering, again, access to capital. Uh, for those who are currently underserved. And it's not just about um, low-income families, it's, it's also about everybody who doesn't have access to the capital that they may need for uh, owning a business, uh, purchasing a home, even um, acquiring small loans. I mean, the payday loan business is proliferating because there aren't alternatives. Um, so our clients um, offer us access to what makes me feel real good about my job is because you know, th th they have such optimism in their own future and in their children's future um, and that's just really inspiring to me. Launch Code's a nonprofit organization providing economic opportunity and upward mobility through apprenticeships in technology. Launch Code's unique because we help people who otherwise would not have access to good employment in tech get high quality jobs. Launchcode has been around for just over a year. In that period of time, the impact we've seen in the community is enormous. We've seen 165 people get apprenticeships through Launchcode, people ages 16 to 65, people with college degrees, without high school degrees, who are long-term unemployed, people from all throughout our region and even moving to St. Louis for the opportunities. Among many other things, we've got a program with the St. Louis Community College and Slate, the local unemployment office, where we're taking people who have exhausted their unemployment benefits, we put them into a free education program the last five months, and at the end of it, they're getting jobs. In the future, I hope that Launch Code is known as an organization that helps people in St. Louis realize, you know, realize their potential, really. So Legal Services of Eastern Missouri is a nonprofit public interest organization that serves thousands of people in 21 counties in eastern Missouri. The CED program creates economic opportunities for entrepreneurs who are low income and can't afford legal services. So we, we work with all kinds of businesses, both in the startup phase and the ex existing businesses that are trying to grow. In a relatively short existence, we've been able to help thousands of entrepreneurs, not only through that, the one-on-one -on -one legal representation, but we have a very heavy emphasis on education as well. So I think a couple thousand people have attended workshop, community workshops that we have taught. And and so in, we've helped raise the awareness among a much larger group of entrepreneurs about the importance of seeking legal assistance before they have a problem. Well, on a personal note, I feel so privileged to have been enmeshed in these women's lives. Launch Code's one of those things that are right about St. Louis because on a local level we're impacting lives and on a national stage we're putting St. Louis on the map. The award is an affirmation uh, of the work that Justine Peterson can offer to the community. This award is a reminder of how we're able to help facilitate 
these incredibly industrious, inspiring people.